All right, Nicole says, hey Bo, I'm buying a property up in the mountains. It's a tourist destination. It's a commercially zoned property with 13 cabins on it. They are all short-term rental properties. Would SBA financing potentially work for this? Thank you. Nicole, yes, SBA could potentially work for this. We see this a lot. Uh, and actually over the last two, three years, it's more common than ever before. This is a financeable SBA transaction. It would be nice to know, um, I don't know your background, but that you have some, um, maybe own a couple Airbnbs already. You have some experience in hospitality, but yeah, this is totally, this could be done as a 7A or 504. Um, and, and what we always talk about SBA, this is a SBA is for business, right? And so business means cash flow, which means we got to look at the seller's business tax returns. That's the important thing. What's the cash flow look like? That's going to determine how much of a, how big of a loan we can do is based on the cash flow. And we can, if there's some value add component and you got to do some remodels, we can actually build that into the loan as well. Nicole, uh, happy to discuss this deal. Book a call below, but yes, um, boutique motels and cabin properties like this can be financed with SBA. Hi, this is Bo Eckstein, host of the Investor Financing Podcast. Are you a real estate investor with properties and you're trying to figure out how to refinance or grow your existing real estate business? Need some clarity and a game plan for moving forward? I'm offering a free strategy call where we dive deep on your real estate investing goals. I'll help you come up with a strategic finance plan that will help you get to where you want to go. Whether you've got a portfolio of 30 properties or you're starting out with your first property, I have a framework that has helped many investors grow. If you're interested, book a call below in the Calendly link.